Hello everyone, this is Ray from WordPress Magic. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a menu. What we're going to do is add a menu to our homepage, or rather add a menu to the theme itself, because this theme does not have a menu after the default install. So the first thing you're going to want to do after you log in is hover over the title of your website and then within that you're going to scroll down and select menus. Now the menu builder in WordPress is very intuitive so right now I'm being prompted to type in a menu name and I'm just going to type in main menu. We're going to click create menu after you type in the name and once you do that you're going to be able to begin adding pages that you have already created to your menu. So for example, I want to add all of these pages to, to my menu. So I'm going to select those. And now we see that they are appearing in order here. And this is the order they're going to appear on your website. So if you want to change the order, it's simple. You just hover over, click, and drag there might be pages that are children of parent pages basically means that they're underneath right so let's say for some reason we wanted our contact page to be underneath our about page meaning that when you hover over about contact pops out as well so to do that is very simple you just click it and you drag it slightly to the right and you see how now this is indented here and it says sub item well now this will appear as a uh, a drop down um, when someone hovers over the about and within the menu itself you can also add um, a title attribute so when someone hovers over um, that menu option a little little title will pop up it's kind of like you see here when I hover over the title of this page, we see this little pop-up right underneath my arrow that says Menus WordPress Mag Magic WordPress. So that's what this area is. So you can add that if you'd like. And this last area here is also important. I want this to be my main menu, so I'm going to click Primary Menu. And then I'm going to click Save. Now these other options automatically add new top-level pages to this menu. So these are options that you do not need to select from the get-go. Um, you might want to come, ba come back and select these. And also these, um, for instance, the social links menu, I don't know if this appears in um, every single theme. So depending on which theme you're using, you may or may not see all of these options. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's try something else. In the past, I've been asked how to go ahead and add a, essentially a link to the menu. So say you have another website and you want to link directly to that website in your menu. Well, you can do that right here. Um, hmm. Let me think of a website name. Okay. Okay. So I want whoever clicks on this menu option to be taken straight to um, wherever this link is pointing. And in this case I just selected a different website. So now I'm going to click add to menu. And this is a custom link. You see here it says custom link. And let's see. Oh. And we're going to do that. And now we see here that this is a custom link. Now keep in mind that this custom link can be used to, you know, to do anything. It can point to a page within your own website or it can point to a page on a different website. Um, it just gives you the ability you know, to add custom links to your menu and have them appear as menu items just like regular pages. This section here is for categories and that is for say when you're creating blog posts you'll have the opportunity to create categories. I will create a video on that later. Basically what this option is if, if, is that if you want to create um, say like a sidebar with all your different categories in it 
this would allow you to do that. And I do plan on covering this in the future. Okay, so now that we've done all this work here, let's click Save Menu. So as you see, I just click this tab over here. It says Manage Locations. Initially in the Edit Menus, I indicated which menu I wanted to be my primary menu, and that was the menu I named Main Menu. The Social Links menu, I did not set any social links yet, so I'm going to ignore that for the time being. So now that we've set the menu, let's go back to our website, the home page here, and now we'll see that on the left side there's a menu. Remember what we did with the contact and the about page? So now we see this little arrow and a user will have to click on the arrow to see the contact page. And that is theme specific. In some WordPress themes, simply hovering over the about will cause the drop down pages to show. So that is theme specific. Here is the, um, the custom link that we added. And it works just like any old link, but it just appears to be a menu item. So click on that and we'll see that it opens up the website that I pointed it to. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions or recommendations, please leave them in a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I know everybody says that, but the reason why they say it is because it provides motivation and it also helps other people find this video. So if you found this helpful, you know, why not help others find this video? Okay, catch me next time.